And welcome in to be our guest. You know, when there's a need in our community, sometimes think that government should take care of those needs. But more importantly, when there is a need, you need a champion to come and take care of that need. Today I have with me the champion, Reverend Ken Austin. And you realize there's needs in the Montgomery community. And now there's a wonderful thing in the old location of WSFA called Mercy House. Tell us a little bit about Mercy House, and then tell us about this summer program you're putting together. Well, if I get a chance to be a champion, I cannot be without a team. In this mm -hmm. city, uh, so many people in this community Great. have came, come behind us to help make this cause work. Uh, we probably best for creating an incubator, we say, a mm -hmm. safe place that people want to serve, that can come and serve and a place where people need to serve can be served. I think if we take any fame, we would just say that we create a safe space for people with good hearts who want to serve, can serve, and mm -hmm. I think that's what we do best. So basically, anyone watching this program that, they, that wants to serve needs to come and be a part of Mercy House. We also, people that need the help need to come to Mercy House. We've created that safe space good. where people can come actually over in West Montgomery and not to worry about where they can serve and if they're, they're funding, if what they want to do is going to the right cause. Mm -hmm. We've created that place. And then we've created the place where people who know who are in need can come and know that they will get the best help that they can in Montgomery. I think that may be a trophy if we will have one. Mm -hmm. And basically, Mercy House, what are the hours at Mercy House? Well, are there hours? Or, there are I know, hours. I know you have, knowing you, your <laughs> hours are 24 hours a day, seven days a week. But the hours, the doors open at 8, and we close at 6, Monday through Friday. So, mm -hmm. And then, you know, we always get calls in the evenings after hours to yes. do some help on weekends. But we're open 8 to 6, Monday through Friday. And uh, you can come in and take a shower. You can come in and get clothes. You can come in and wash uh, uh, get, get hygiene kits. You can come in and get food. You can come in and get groceries for your family. You can come in and wash your clothes. All those things can happen Monday through Fridays. I don't know another place in Montgomery mm -hmm. that's open that many hours that you can get service. And during the school year, you have programs for youth also. Every day, Monday through Fridays, we are having, we're picking up children from 10 different schools in West wow. Montgomery and bringing them to the Youth Navigation Center. Mm -hmm. And from there, we have a nutritious meal when they get there. We have certified teachers from the school system come and help us there. So cause those kids to, you know, recover that learning loss that we lost during the pandemic. So mm -hmm. we're working really hard to get these children back on track. We're working really hard with our third graders. So they'll be reading at yes. the state level. We're doing all those things even every day. And then we got teenagers there. So we're partnering with Trenum College and other universities and colleges in the city. So even some of those could be dual enroll as they finish high school, can go on into college, you know, with some uh, a stepping stone. So we're mm -hmm. doing all that we can and in the hardest place we feel in Montgomery that the people there serve well. So you're picking them up from 10 schools. Yes. And then you're tutoring them, giving them nutrition and just kind of mentoring. Doing the mentoring, but enrichment, you know. Enri some, absolutely. Yeah, we're really, really trying to uh, bring them into a different world. We create a safe space for them. We got a healthy environment. We got good people. We got college students interning with us there good. to help rub shoulders with these young people. We do that every day, all day, so that these young children over there who may never have seen a college graduate in their family can see someone firsthand and rubbing shoulders with them and inspire them that they too can go on to do something great with the potentials that they have. And then you take them home. We take them home. We Absolutely. Take them home. You don't just say bye-bye. We close. drive them home and walk them to the door Good. as a rule. And then we open the doors back up for after we take the younger kids home. We open the doors back up for 6 o'clock mm -hmm. for teenagers because a lot of the teenagers were dropping off and, you know, they were not going in the house. That's right. <laughs> they still had some more time and they would run uh. the streets or something. So we open up after hours. So we have the gym at the navigation center inside of the hub at the at the MAP Center, we open those facilities so teenagers can come into those places until 11 o'clock right. on weekends. So you said a key word, you used the acronym MAP Center. Yes. So the acronym stands for, and then you have a summer program that's gonna be a part of the MAP program. Yeah, so MAP is Ministry About People. Okay. Now we feel strongly that our, our, our purpose is to help somebody along the way. And we're not about the buildings, we're not about the programs, we're literally there about to the help people. people. Absolutely. Yes. yes. 
in your summer program, how is that going to work? Summer program is going to be from 8 to 3 o'clock every day for nine weeks throughout the summer. And that's Monday through Friday. Monday through Fridays. You know, parents who are working now and during the summer, their children usually are on the streets. They mm -hmm. don't have a safe place. So we've created a program unlike any other because most programs are two weeks or for the summer. But we're nine weeks throughout the summer. We have those children every day. Mm -hmm. And then we still have the after-hour programs for the teens, you know, mm -hmm. that we can still keep those hot summer days safe and try to keep down the trouble and the behavior and all those things we try hard to do by creating a space for teenagers to come into a, a positive place, mm -hmm. a healthy environment, and we can mentor and walk along beside them every day. And of course, we're putting on the screen, if you want to be a part of it, how you can get information, but more importantly, it's going to cost money to do this. It costs them nothing. Can you imagine that? It well, costs it costs them, them nothing, but, yeah. but there's an expense to put it on. Yeah. And we're going to ask our viewers yes. to go to the site, learn more about Mercy House and the MAP program, learn about the summer program, and then if you can donate anything, if you yes. can sponsor a child, yes. that would be very helpful. Well, if you sponsor a child for the summer, you're spending less than 50 cents a day. Mm -hmm. Can you imagine that? Yep. <laughs> but throughout the summer for a child to be in a nine-week program throughout the summer. There's food, there's skating, there's all the activity, there's teachers, all those things involved. If you sponsor a child for the summer, you don't spend much money to do that. But we make sure the children don't have any excuses. There's no cost on their behalf. The families who need this help, they don't have to pay anything. So we ask for sponsorships to help us to keep these children mm -hmm. throughout the summer, you know, to recover what would be yes. learning loss and recover what would be downtime. You know, in the summer, kids are getting in trouble in a hard place. So we try to, you know, be an alternative to all those bad behaviors that the streets offer for children. Good. Thank you so much for what you do. And a lot of you folks are retired. It's a good opportunity for you to volunteer and do something positive in our community. We'll be right back right after this.